Orchid is delivering a cargo of almost 9,000 tons of rock salt from Sicily. The shipment is being handled at the port of Hamburg. Jan Schult is the responsible shipping agent. Normally, the importers who are his clients order crushed stone or grain. But in winter, salt is big business, especially this year. In the last three weeks, we've handled some 20,000 tons of salt. That's about twice as much as usual. Three years ago, we had no shipments and no winter. But this is a good year for my firm. The salt comes from abroad. German producers can't meet the huge demand for salt for icy roads this winter, even though the salt mines are working at full tilt. That includes the salt mines in Heilbronn. The shaft elevator is running around the clock, bringing tons of rock salt to the surface. Even the huge underground storage depot is being cleared out. We've expanded production. We're mining and loading even on the weekends, all day Saturday and sometimes even on Sundays. And we've cut vacations to a minimum. But that's not a problem right now because January isn't a popular month for vacations anyway. The packing is almost fully automatic. 40,000 sacks are filled each day and immediately sent out. There's only a small mound of salt left in Hall 3. The top priority is supplying regular customers, the public works departments that clear highways and the streets in southern German cities and towns. The salt costs between 70 and 80 euros per ton. Sometimes customers offer even more to get the salt they need desperately. Our contracts run a full year, and long-term ones can run five years. So we can't just adjust our prices at will. We could be earning more right now, but our hands are tied. Many haulage firms are losing money due to the icy conditions. But the firms that deliver rock salt are raking in the profits. This contractor is bringing 25 tons to the public works yard, where they're waiting for the delivery. The shipment will last only two days. Many small towns don't have enough storage. They have to place their orders when winter is in full swing, and the competition for salt is fierce. I've been in the business for 23 years. Days like this happen in winter. There's always a point where the salt starts to run out. You have to cultivate your contacts year-round, and then you can get another delivery, even when the salt is almost gone. The salt trucks are filled and ready to go, just in time for more snow and ice that's been forecast to hit southern Germany.